so today I wanted to film for you one more Halloween tutorial. I'm having fun doing these, so um, this one is not one of my original ideas. Um, it was inspired um, by a picture I saw on Instagram, and let me show it to you guys. It's by Dominique, um, and I will link her Instagram down below just because her makeup is so cool. And she did this picture of um, a spider web face makeup. So I did my own version. It's a little bit different than her picture, but um, this one is a little bit less intense than um, and less colorful than hers, but kind of picked the same vibe. Um, but it's fun and different, and it's really easy. All you need is some white eyeliner, some brown eyeliner, and some silver eyeliner, and then whatever you want to do on the eyes, and some black for a little spider on the nose. But um, the eyes and lips are kind of whatever you want to do. This is just my fun version of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing Halloween. Bye! Hey guys, so I normally start with my eyes, but today I'm going to start with my face. I'm using two primers. The first one was the Makeup Forever HD primer, and then I'm going to go in with this Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. And then for my foundation, I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face, just kind of as a base. And then um, for concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm just doing this normally, like how I normally apply my concealer. My eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and on any blemishes I have. And then I'm just going to blend that in with a precision brush by Sigma. And then I always have to set my concealer, so I'm using the Besame French Vanilla Brightening Powder, and I'm just setting my concealer wherever I applied it. And then I want a light contour, so I'm going to go in with the NARS Kahina Palette, and I'm just going to slightly add some contour to my cheekbones, and bronze up my forehead and my jawline. So I have my reference picture just because I want my spider web to look nice and symmetrical. Um, so I'm going to start by putting a dot on my nose just for as a reference point, And then I'm going to draw a line with this NYX white liner pencil and literally just draw a line straight down the center of my face. I found that this is the easiest way to have a spider web in the center of your face. Um, and then I'm going to draw a line straight across the center of my face and kind of using the dot as a center point and it's basically just going to be a T across your face. Then I'm just going to do diagonal lines through each um, square that I have. Um, just following along, so doing the diagonal lines in the center of each square and then doing it again through each triangle and it's kind of hard to explain but just follow along you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, it's easy if you break it up by each section that way you can get a line as straight as possible but the lines don't have to be perfect just because um, it is a spider web and I don't think I've ever seen a completely perfect spider web in real life. To draw the inner lines of the web, I just started from the center of my nose and then kind of started to draw the lines in a concave um, U shape. Um, just going in a circle I found was the easiest way to keep the lines as symmetrical and um, each row as evenly as possible. Um, so I'm just kind of going all the way around in circles until I reach all the way around my face. I'm then going to go in with the Too Faced Sugar Pop Macaron palette and I'm going to take the um, Dusty Plum um, 
shade in there and I'm going to apply that to my crease using a tapered blending brush. I'm going to go pretty heavily with this and kind of flare it out a tiny bit towards the edge of my eye as you can see here. the same palette I'm going to take the purpley shade sugared violet and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Uh, I am then going to go back in with a little bit more of that blackberry shade and just um, apply that to the corners of my eye slightly with this tapered blending brush and apply that a little bit more to my crease. Then taking this Makeup Forever pink um, shadow from the Artist palette called ME700, I'm just going to apply this using a pencil brush to the inner corner of my eye all the way to um, a little bit on my lower lash line and a little bit um, to the inner um, corner of my lid. As you can see it's hard to explain but I just wanted the pink to just be really intense so I took my time and just packed on the color. You can use some Fix Plus if you want to intense, intensify the color a little bit more. Then using this Givenchy um, Cold Caudal Liner, I'm just applying that to my waterline and a little bit on my lash line. And then I'm going to smudge it out. I smudged it out um, on my lower lash line as well um, just because I wanted my eyes to look really smoky and dark and then I just took some of that shimmery purple sugared violet shade and that same brush and I just applied a little bit to it and used it to smoke out the black even more. Then going back in with that tapered brush, I'm just going to round out the eye a little bit more with no additional product on the brush. Um, as you can tell, I was having a little bit of a difficulty. My eyes were just being very sensitive and the brush was irritating them a little bit. But just take your time and round it out and smoke it out as much as possible. I went in with the Rimmel Waterproof Silver Coal Liner and I wanted the spiderweb to just be more intense and stand out more. So I just took the silver and re-outlined all of the lines just to make it stand out. Um, I just felt like the white wasn't glimmery enough for me and this is totally optional but I just loved the finished look of it once I was done relining everything with the silver. As you can see the silver just made the web stand out more and just catch with the light. It was just really pretty. Then going in with this NYX liquid liner in Extreme Coffee, I'm just going to add a little bit of shading with it and then um, just apply it underneath a, a few lines here and there. I didn't really have a rhyme or reason. I kind of, kind of just scattered it throughout the web and then just blended it out using a um, flat brush and I just kind of picked wherever I wanted. It's totally just to add a little bit of depth to the web. For the first time I think ever I'm filling in my eyebrows because I want them to be really dark and thick and intense so I'm just taking this drugstore Rimmel um, eyebrow pencil and filling them in just following the shape of my natural brow and kind of arching it a little bit more um, so than the arch I already have and then um, I'm going to also contour my nose I'm just going back in with that blackberry eyeshadow and I'm just going to Follow the shadowing of my natural nose shape and then the indent of my nose and then also bring the shadow down to the tip of my nose and nostrils. And then for the spider, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 um, um, 
black glittery liner pencil and I'm just outlining the shape of the spider on my nose. And then using this e.l.f. liquid liner, I'm just going to fill the spider in and re-outline the spider lines just because I wanted the black to be more um, intense and dark. And then as just a little extra effect, I took that silver liner and just applied a little dot of it to the center of my nose. I'm going to go in with lashes. This is the Eyelore Dramatic Lash, and I'm just going to apply that to my lashes. Um, for my lips, I took this um, Urban Decay Black Eyeliner Pencil. You can go in with a black lipstick if you have it, but I don't. And I just outlined the out outer portion of my lips and filled it in. I didn't go all the way to the center, just the outer portion because I wanted a little bit of a darker ombre kind of effect. Um, and then I went in with my favorite lipstick. This is the Rimmel um, Red um, Lipstick by with the collaboration with Kate Moss. And then I'm just applying that to the center of my lips um, and kind of blending it, using it to blend out the black a little bit. And then I just went in with a brush and blended it out even more. And that completes this Black Widow spiderweb inspired tutorial. I hope you guys have so much fun recreating this look. I think this one is my favorite out of the um, four Halloween looks I did. But I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.